With Classic World of Warcraft less than one year away, it's time to consider reasons to pick a server. I'm going to break down 10 reasons why to avoid picking a server with a big streamer on it. The first reason to avoid playing with these streamers is going to be competition. If you think you can compete with these guys, you're lying to yourself. That's because I'm so fucking good at this game, dude. Actually a literal god at the game. So it, it's like, that's true. Like, nobody should even play on my server. Like, uh, you guys know, like, the day... Uh, listen... This is true. Uh, the day that I got the rank one world parse on Star Augur Mythic, uh, the site for Warcraft logs went down. Like, I, I wasn't able to access it. I don't think anybody was. I'm serious. It went down. And, and I think the reason for that is people saw that parse. Because I was, like, one of the first people to hit a million DPS on a fight. And nobody else wanted to do the fight anymore. They just quit. Everybody just, they canceled their raid. They're like, there's no point going in there anymore. I mean, Asmongold already shut it down. It's done. These guys are going to have 40 people running around with them all the time, yep. whether they want it or not. They're going to do real <laughs> PvP. Yeah, you're right There's about gonna that. There's going to be an army behind them. I'm talking 30, 40, 50 guys running all over. You don't have a chance to fight them. You want to get a Scarab Lord? Good luck. This guy's going to have all of his followers helping him farm. You can't find that many people to help. He's guaranteed it. Just... If you care about competition, avoid them. The next reason is going is to be really server true? stability. What do I mean by server stability? I mean that your server is going to have so many people what? in one spot, it's going to lag. It happens all the time. Wow. They don't intend it, but it happens. Then, then what follows lag? The server could crash. The server is going to crash. Changed, it's dude. really annoying. You have to wait to play. He's and pissed. then what also happens? These guys want to have an event. They want to have all their fans come and join them. Yep. Then your server has a queue time. All of these things add up to very annoying things yep. happening when you're just trying to play the game. Population. Your server's population is directly going to be tied to these guys. Yep. If they ever quit the game, you're going to watch a lot of players your leaving server your server. Your fucking dies. Just, that's just going to happen. Imagine that, dude. Imagine, like, uh, Shroud start playing on a server. Or, no, Ninja. Ninja starts playing on a server. And, like, every single person that plays Fortnite is like, oh, my God, what's this new game? I want to play on it. Ninja quits. The server fucking dies. Like, that, that's actually crazy, dude, to think about that could happen. And, like, yeah, didn't that kind of happen with Darkspear and Swifty? Or am I wrong about that? Because uh, I, I think that it did. Twitch Prime. Yeah, we love Fortnite. Kind of. Yeah, that's insane, man. Darkspear's dead as fuck. Yeah, so we already have an example of, like, literally one person, they just impact the entire thing. Like, I don't know, to me, that's just fucking insane. Like, I, I'm I'm actually kind of impressed by that. Ninja Stream Final Fantasy MMO and had 10k viewers? That's a lot. I mean, especially for, like, a Final Fantasy MMO. That's crazy. The other thing that they're going to do is they're going to probably cause a faction imbalance. Because people are more likely to join their side because they want to play with them. Yep. On the other hand, you will get some people join the other faction who want to gank them. But I would think a lot more people would like to join them. Now, this nah. next reason applies more to every Not streamer than just big streamers, but having streamers in your guild, you really have to lock this down. You have to make sure that they are watching their stream all the time, because if they leak guild drama and guild secrets, it sucks. A guild is like a family. You want to keep those things in the guild. You, it, it... There was this one time, this was back in Hellfire Citadel, we were having a guild meeting about uh, one of the guild members. It was an, uh, there was a piece of shit, and I was just roasting this dude and just like talking the most mad amount of shit about him. And then we find out that our healing officer, her stream was on, and he was watching her stream, and he heard everything that I said about him, and he quit the fucking game. Like it was it was kind of embarrassing. Like to me, honestly, it was kind of embarrassing, but it did happen. That was like what back in fucking wad, like three years ago or something. It would be like if you went on Facebook and posted that your 14-year-old sister is pregnant. Uh, you don't do that. Those are secrets for your family. You keep it in the family. You keep it in the guild. Hey, keep it in the family. That's Trade right, chat brother. becomes Twitch chat. Uh, by that, I mean the server is going to become about them and not about the game. So That's what I'm going to do. Like, So basically, I'm going I'm to get a server, and we're going to get enough people on the server, and we're going to petition Blizzard to rename the server to Asmongold. How about that? Like, instead of, like, Thrall, uh, they're just going to call the server Asmongold. I, I think that sounds fucking great. And uh, you know, this actually happened in my guild, and uh, my other officers in the guild got so annoyed by people acting like guild chat was Twitch chat, they just started G-kicking people.
Like, if you put a Twitch chat emote in guild chat, they just fucking G-kick you. Because they were just so sick of people that were, like, viewers of my stream joining the guild. It was kind of funny, and I didn't like most of the people that they G-kicked anyway. So I was like, yeah, you know, that's the way it goes. Fuck them. If you want to have a real, authentic, vanilla experience, then avoid those servers. Otherwise, your server chat is just going to turn into a bunch of garbage about, Oh my god, he just got this. Oh my god, he just did that. It's just... It sucks. If, if that's not what you're into, yep. avoid that. PvP leaks. So what does that mean exactly? It means battlegrounds for one. So if you do a battleground, you're leaking the map, you're leaking the strategies, you're leaking the players where they are, you're leaking when uh, like a flag in Warsaw and Gold gets picked up, things like that. It could also mean world bosses. You want to go do Azure Ghost, wasn't and you want to strong. keep that a secret from the other factions so that you don't have to fight for five hours over the boss, then you don't want to have that streamed. Because as soon as the other faction knows Malagos or Azure Ghost is up, they're going to be swarming you. And yep. that's something you need to keep a secret from the opposite faction. And even from other players. In Boys, yo, yo, yo. Like, imagine this shit. Azure Ghost spawns. I'm streaming on a PvP server. There'll be like 2,000 people there. Think about how fucking badass that would be. Like, I, I honestly, dude, I get a half chub just thinking about it. 100%. Like, server crash? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not... I mean, but besides that, it'd be really, really fucking cool. Like, just to see everybody there would be fucking amazing. Uh, you won't be on a PvP server, though? I, I, I've decided I will try to play on a PvP server when the beta or the alpha comes out. And if it seems plausible and feasible, I will do it on live, but I still am convinced that it will not be possible. Uh, and, and I really don't think that it will be. I don't think it'll be possible for a lot of other streamers either. And uh, I, I look forward to myself being proven right, because I think it's going to be fucking hilarious. Your own faction. Right-click reporting. Uh, this could happen by total accident. Sometimes you're just a player out in the world questing, PvPing, you see this guy, you kill him, and he was a streamer, you didn't even know it. That guy's gonna go, that guy's obviously stream sniping me. And then he's gonna tell his stream, right click report the guy, even though you didn't even know what you're doing, you're just PvPing. I know you can't report stream sniping in WoW, but they will report anyways because they're upset, even making up fake reasons sometimes. Oh, I do that! So like if somebody annoys me in WoW... I'll talk to them until they say something that's like profanity to me, then I'll report them. So I'll bait them into doing something bad, or I'll look at their name and I'll figure out something wrong with their name, and I'll report them. 100%, dude. If someone wants to fuck me, dude, I fuck them right back. It's a two-way street. In killing a guy, it happens sometimes. Streamers sometimes lose their temper. They're humans. <laughs> Harassment. Yo, that shit hurt. Like, I'm gonna say that right now. Like, that shit actually fucking hurt. I'm kind of... Uh, it's a little embarrassing. I just wanted to mention this one because it's something that the streamer is not going to encourage. It's gonna be picture? done just by his crazy fans. Because, let's face it, there's a lot of psychos out there in this world. And sometimes you're just doing something, minding your own business, you accidentally did something wrong to the guy, you didn't even know it, he mentioned yep. it on stream, he said, oh, Daniel did this to me, and then so all of his crazy people are going to message you on the server, they're going to give you threats, they're going to give you insults, they're going to... So this is so funny, because like every example he has, I've actually got like a, a real, real life example of this shit actually happening. So back in, uh, in, in Nighthold, there was this one guy, his name was Malu. And um, he kept dying on botanist because he was shitty, right? And he became such a meme in my guild. People were messaging him from, like, other servers or watching my stream, us wiping a Nighthold. Like, you guys probably didn't watch me back then, but I literally had, like, two to 3,000 viewers sitting there wiping in Nighthold. And we would wipe on botanist. Like, where, where's the botanist clip where I'm sitting there and we wipe again and I'm listening to, uh, uh, to Green Day? It's just the most depressing fucking thing ever. And anyway, so they messaged this guy and they told him, like, kill himself. And they harassed this person so much that he quit the guild. Like, this guy got harassed out of my guild because he kept dying on stream so many times. <laughs> I mean, it's horrible, but it's also, like, it, it's, it's funny 
in a mean kind of way, right? Like obviously it's kind of shitty that happened because then we had to recruit somebody else and it was fucking annoying. But looking back on it, it is kind of funny. I remember those streams so well. Yeah, a lot of people do. Uh, I I hated those streams. That was like the worst part of my fucking life. Like streaming, like it was just so bad, man. I follow you around, they might read my reset message. Cliff, I'm gonna read your reset message right now. Where is it? I don't see it. Yeah, I I, I actually don't see your I, I actually don't see your reset message. I'm scrolling down. Yeah, I, I don't know. I see quote me when it's cringe, gifted a sub to quote if streamer balding. Jesus Christ. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put that on Twitter, dude. Like I no, I'm actually I'm actually gonna put that on Twitter right now. Just a minute. Okay, where wait, can I why is it not why did it not let me screenshot? Just screenshot. Front screen. Okay, and then this should work, right? Oh, I'm in this, that's why. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna put that on Twitter afterwards. Okay, let's let's yeah, quote if Asmon mad. Oh yeah, that that's I'm surprised he doesn't get quoted more often. Thank you. It's just another headache, and I don't think it's worth dealing with. And yep. It's not even caused by the streamer, it's caused by their fans. Leveling. Leveling up on one of these servers with one of these guys is going to be rough. If they're in that same zone as you, there's going to be a swarm of locust players going all over that zone, picking up all the quest mobs, picking up all the yep. quest items, killing yep. everything. Uh, there's going to be nothing in that zone for you. You're going to have to move no, out of the zone. Actually, so it's one of those things remember. that are just adding a little bit of an extra headache. Not only that, if it's a PvP server, God forbid it's anyone PS. chooses that, there's going to be gankers all day long. It's it going to be bad. impossible. All right, now my last point is going to be that you're hurting these streamers just as much as you hurt yourself. These guys don't want to deal with it either. They're going to have to deal with these problems ten times worse than you. So... Just don't hurt Listen, them. man, I'm going to tell you, like, streaming a video game is fucking hard. Oh, my God, dude. Like, basically, I mean, you have to worry. Like, here here are some of the issues, right? It's like one issue is that whenever you're streaming the game, you've got to focus on playing the game. But then sometimes people give you money. And so then that distracts you from the game. You've got to read their fucking message. And so that's one of the worst parts about it. Also, on top of that, you have people following you around all the time, and you're just getting distracted constantly by all of these other people that want your attention, and they just keep giving you money, and it just makes it so hard to actually just relax and just play a game. I, I mean, listen, dude, that's just the way it goes. And, I mean, it it's hard to it's hard to do this. Actually, you know, I had to use the bathroom. Oh, shit, I almost dropped my thing. I'll be right back. I take a piss. Okay, all right, I'm back. I'm back. Sorry about that, boys. If, if your goal in Classic is to play the game, just enjoy it yourself. These guys want to have their own Classic experience, and it's going to be impossible for them if yes, they have all be. these people following them. So just do your own thing. Watch them on stream. Don't make the game about them. Make it about your experience. I just wanted to end off the video by saying I also like watching streamers. Streamers are great for content, but these are like this is more like a public service announcement saying, like, Hey guys, these are things you should think about before you just swarm to them. A lot of people might not consider that, that you're also affecting them, that they they also want to have fun in the game. So anyways, th thanks for watching. If you liked it, let me know. Won't anybody please think of the streamers? I mean, that that that's really what we're not seeing. And uh, it, it, it's really kind of sad. I want to look right now because I know what this is going to be. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. What do you have against the Plague Lands? Um, you could compare Asmongold to some other place really now. What do you have against the Plague Lands? Wait, what the fuck? You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to tell people what server I play on until I just play on it on, on like that day. Uh, let's see. Just remember how cancerous the Project 60 with streamers was? Do y'all remember that? 
I was actually so happy whenever I got to do that because I made so many people mad. Like I'm like I'm like a I'm like a happiness vampire. If I can make somebody else mad, that makes me happy. There's all these threads on like the general forums about how streamers are ruining Moonguard, and I made a thread or no, I didn't make a thread, but I responded and I said we run Moonguard now. Blizzard deleted the, the the comment because it got so many people mad. They they just deleted it. They didn't want to deal with me. They were like, okay, just get it, get you know, we, we don't want to see that. Get it out of the way. And uh, they were so fucking upset about it. Man, ever these people like, what is it about me? Like, what is what is my community? Why are why is my community just assumed to be like the worst people? Depends entirely on the streamer. Is someone like Swifty or Preach? Uh, then they're more responsible with how they play and their fans aren't bad. Avoid Asmongold server like the plague, though. The last thing I want to do is be on the same server as Asmongold. Oh my god. This is insane. Um, let's see. Are there any more? Uh, I'm just going to search. The clip of Asmon after... Okay, dude. Uh, Asmon. All right. Where are the other ones? I, oh, where the hell is it not working? Okay, avoid Asmongold server. Okay, that's basically all of them, all the people talking shit. I don't know. I just think that's kind of funny. Have, yeah, I haven't, we haven't do anything. Dude, your audience is real? Well, yeah, no, we got the real boys. Like, the thing is with my audience, is it like, yeah, we got some clowns. I mean, of course we got clowns. I mean, there's like thousands of people to watch. Like, yeah, we got a couple of retards. But for the most part, everybody is really chill. Like, everybody talks about like how we have like a toxic audience. Like, my community is probably one of the least toxic communities in, in WoW. Like, we've, we, like, together, my community achieved the Moose is Loose multiple times, right? Like, we've probably been responsible for more, like, mounts and, like, in-game player rewards than almost any other stream on Twitch. And, like, that's quantitative. Like, we used to do these runs all the fucking time. We used to do this all the time. We, yeah, this is, like, the only community that's left in WoW. What I, 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 what are you guys question marking me for? That's true as fuck. I literally got done talking about how you uh, like making people mad. Well, yeah, but I like making them happy sometimes too. I mean, it's not like, a, yeah, I like making people mad more. But it's like, I don't want to make people that like me mad. I want to make people that don't like me mad because they don't like me. Right? I don't want to make people that like me mad. That'd be crazy. Because, yeah, it, it's not toxic at all. Like, I have probably one of the best communities on Twitch. Like, I, I mean, like, yeah, I'd say so. Like, especially for how unmoderated it is, right? If, if you balance, like, the amount of... No, listen. If you balance the amount of, of, of like, non-moderation that I do, because I don't really do hardly any moderation. Uh, I, I leave it off of sub mode all the time, and most people usually behave. I think that's pretty damn good. Like, wait, what is this here? Idiot, you complain every time. Wait, what's this here? Every time you wipe to a fight... You're the embodiment of toxicity. Slow Twitch said that. Hey, man, you're living up to your name. 